shall be done for the UFC featherweight championship of the world between Alexander Volkanovsky and Yair Rodriguez. All right, so we get another look tonight at the great Yair Rodriguez, DC. It's hard to remember a fighter being as hyped as Rodriguez was when he made his UFC debut at UFC 180 back in 2014. And for my money, he has largely lived up to that. Yeah, he's lived up to expectation. I remember when we met Yair on the Ultimate Fighter in Latin America, right away you understood that there was a star quality about this kid, but also an ability to just be free inside of the octagon. And it shows in his performances. The knockout of the Korean zombie will stand the test of time because it was one of the greatest fights you had ever seen. And Yair and his toughness allowed him to go and find that knockout with very short time left on the clock. At 26 years of age, that highlight that he produced, one of the best in UFC history. And we'll see if he can follow it up with another win here tonight. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. All right, now we bring you the tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Rodriguez is 27. Volkanovski is 31. Rodriguez is five inches taller. The reach is the same. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, yeah, El Patera Rodriguez. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing 85 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Skills, he don't care what John, what do you got? John, what do you it got? doesn't matter. John, it doesn't matter. 
It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's diff different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Nice move to punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Let me see those straight punches now. Way to be first. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Circling towards the left now. Nice punch there by both of us. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Just over three minutes to go round one. So the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just over two minutes to go. Well, single follow time here. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Just up. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Rodriguez gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. 45 seconds remain in the round. Go, guys, work. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkanovski. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! Go, guys! Rush! Second round, straight ahead. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. 
high level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go. Round two, it is Alexander Volkanovsky versus Yair Rodriguez. Slips the punch. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. There. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Hands going. Hands out there. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, showing no signs of slowing down, 41 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And a pretty good clip tonight, DC, landing with 64% accuracy against Yair Rodriguez. in on the double leg and they separate try to do damage now with the kick that's a miss leg kick Volkanovski's knee to the body is blocked now to go on the round. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice leg kick attack there from Alexander Volkanovsky. You know it's a city kickboxing fighter if they're employing that weapon. And, and you know, honestly, John, he's done that over and over again. The leg kicks were what got the belt from Max Holloway. He used that to slow Max down, get him out of his conventional stance, make him fight the stance that he's not used to. And Volkanovsky was able to walk away with the belt on that night. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Changes his stance. Volkanovski going for the head kick. He misses there. Under a minute to go. Ooh, huge body shot.
Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. 20 seconds to go. Oh, strong punch there by Rodriguez. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, a lot of these shots with power behind them. 66 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And landing half the shots tonight, 50% the accuracy rate against Yair Rodriguez. Rodriguez, knee strike here is blocked. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just missed with the leg kick. Big double oh, all Nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Go, guys, work. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Rodriguez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Ninety seconds to go now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Yair Rodriguez. 
All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Volkanovski. I mean, how many can he take? 30 seconds to go. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. I mean, how many can he take? Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound sequence. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Rodriguez gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice punch by Volkanovski. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Volkanovski gets the tie clinch here. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you can hit him in the body that clean. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Oh, nice land there by Yair Rodriguez, DC. There are so many different layers and dynamic strikes in the arsenal of Yair Rodriguez. The opposition just never knows what's going on. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, beautiful chat there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Let's go, guys, work. Get those nice. Those yeah. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Yeah. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Rodriguez's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. The ground and pound has been there all night. right back to the full mount. Under two minutes now to go. Get that good wrist control now. 
man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. kicks here, but just out of range. It's okay. Keep going. And he landed the right hand there. Way to hide that leg kick. Volkanovski hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Hands up. 30 seconds to go here. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. 15 seconds. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Big punch lands. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Here we go, fifth and final round. Checks that leg kick. Lands with a right hand. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. And he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him back. Great balance, great awareness, moved the head back inside, turned that double into a single, sprawled, and got away from his opponent. Great job. Keep your hands up for me, come on now. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. Stay focused. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. There's no tell on that leg kick. Rodriguez gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh! So he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. I mean, how many can he take? 
Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Volko. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Good work from the top here by Volko. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Volkanovs. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. In this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, two seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by Nut and Steel, the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Monogoski. All right, there's a little smile. Wasn't much for smiles during fight week. He can finally exhale right now because he is still the best in the world at 145 pounds. He's all business in the lead up to these fights. But after the fight is over, he can take a breath. He understands the target that he walks around with on his back and knows every time he goes in there, he fights the very best in the world. But once again, he shows why he's the champion and he keeps the title.